Thank you so much for joining this session. My name is Ophelia. Um, I'm the leadership fellow for the front end track, Women Who Code Front End. Um, I'll be sharing my screen and I'll, I'll take us through how to participate in the 30 Days of JavaScript Coding Challenge launch. Okay. So, okay, so welcome and thanks again for joining us. Um, as you know, for the women who code front end track, we are embarking on the 30 days of JavaScript challenge um, that we are starting tomorrow, that's the 9th of January and it ends on the 7th of February. Um, so let's get right into it. Here at Women Who Code, our mission is to empower diverse women to excel in technology careers. And uh, we have a vision of a tech industry where diverse women and historically excluded people thrive at every level. So our code of conduct, um, Women Who Code is an inclusive community that is dedicated to providing an empowering experience for everyone who participates in or supports our community. So regardless of gender, sexual orientation, physical appearance, race, ethnicity, you are welcome. And our events are intended to inspire women to excel in technology careers and anyone who is here for this purpose is welcome. Please know that we do not tolerate harassment of members in any form and a code of conduct applies to all women who code events and online communities. So before I, I zoom in, I just want to quickly share with um, all of us here the events that we have coming up for the front end track. So for um, January, um, on the 17th, we have a tech blogging for front end devs. Um, event or workshop um, where our speaker is going to take us through technical writing and how to share your um, technical expertise or knowledge through blogging. And we also have um, the, the, our 2024 vision board hangout on the 27th of January. So basically we are coming together to um, create vision, individual vision boards as well as um, vision board for the um, the track. Also for February, we have an open source workshop and we ha also have a React workshop and then a freelance workshop as well. So these are um, uh, the upcoming events for women who code front end. So to stay connected with us, um, you can join our women who code front end Slack. Um, Maria shared uh, the link in the chat. So please access it and then join our Slack. You can also find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Women Who Code Frontend, or follow the link beacons.ai, Women Who Code Frontend, to find all our social media handles. Now, um, let's get straight into the objective and overview of the um, code, um, Days of Code Challenge. So we believe that the Days of Code Challenge is um, a fantastic opportunity to boost um, your coding skills and connect with community while staying motivated in the front end field. For the objectives, we have skill enhancement, community building, visibility, and networking. So why are we looking at 30 days of JavaScript? Because as you know, a lot of our members may already be um, experienced developers, right? But the reason we are doing 30 days of JavaScript is that we believe that we believe that um, a lot of times for those who go through the coding boot camps, you are forced to um, move into or zoom into a front end framework, right? From um, say your first week uh, learning JavaScript. Right, and so what happens is that even though you know React, you know Vue, you know Angular, your your grasp of the um, the JavaScript language in itself may not be that solid, right? So that is what um, informed the decision for us doing the thirty days of JavaScript, so that for the next thirty days we are all committing to go deep into JavaScript and understand 
how to build projects with just vanilla JavaScript. So for commitment levels, we know um, that not everybody would have the luxury of time to commit to 30 days. So we have three SKUs. You can commit to 10 days. That is for 10 days out of the 30 days you build projects. You can commit to 20 days. That is building 20 projects. And then you can also commit to the maximum number of days. That is the 30 days. Now, um, you may be asking, OK, now I understand the objective. So how do I participate? We, there are about three or four very simple steps to do this. The first thing is to join a Women Who Code front-end Slack channel. And um, as I mentioned earlier, um, Maria already shared the, the link in the chat. So please access that link and join our Slack channel. And once you are in our Slack channel, please go to search for Days of Code 2024 channel. So what, when you find that um, channel, you can just join. Um, you see that for now, there's no message in there because we are waiting till we have the maximum number of participants there and then we'll start to share the necessary information. So if you've already done that and you are in the channel, then you've completed the first step. Now, the second step is to register for the Westboss 30 days of JavaScript course. So um, Westboss, as um, a number of you would know, is one of the very popular figures in um, the web development stroke front end fields, right? And the reason why we are we chose to go through his um, course is one for 30 days, he leads you to build a project each day. And that's not um, the only reason, but the fact that it's not just like the, he doesn't just list the projects for you to build, but for every project he has tutorials. So even though we are providing you with the channel and um, volunteers that are, that are going to um, help you or guide you if you have any issues, Wes also has tutorials for all the projects that he um, lists on the, on the course. Right. So if you have any, you come across any difficulties, you can always go to his tutorial and then fix your bug or get back on track. So please access this link, javascript30.com. I'm sure Maria would have shared it in the in the chat as well by now. But all you have to do is once you're on the um, the website, you'd you'd enter you'd enter your email into um, the input field that uh, under the start the challenge today, and click on join um, 637,000 others. Once you do that, you are going to receive an email. So this is how the email looks like. The email would give you um, a link to access the course. So you, either, you can either click on the access the course button or the link beneath it. When you click on it, you would be asked to provide a password to sign up. And that is the final step of um, your registration for the course. So once that part is also done, you now um, be able to access the course itself. So that is the first screenshot that you see here is after you've successfully created your account, you'd see this course here. And uh, two main things from here that I want us to take notice of. The first part is um, you can stream the course and when you click on that button, it will lead you to um, the screenshots that you can see in the in the middle here. So you can go through all the um, the videos for the various courses. But I would not advise you to start with that. What I would advise um, you to do is to rather go to the button that says starter files. So when you click on the starter files, it will take you to Westboss's um, GitHub. So on the GitHub, you would see um, the repo um, JavaScript 30. So please access that every day for the 30 days, you would pick the project that you want to build, the starter files, and then you build it using just the starter files. You only come and watch or stream the course if you have any issues or you, are, you have a blocker that you um, stack overflow is not helping or you put in the channel and you've not gotten any help. So that is it for registering for the course. The next one is your setup. 
So for setup, um, because we want you to also um, pick up the version control skill that every developer needs to have, you know, like we, we are going to be pushing all our code to GitHub. So the first step is to create um, a repo on your GitHub. And um, after you do that, you can sign up on CodePen using your GitHub account, right? That's if that's for people that do not want to create the project um, on their like their VS Code from their their laptop. You can always use CodePen. That gives you a setup on the go. You can you can use it to build your projects on the go. And then the final step is once you've done this, you would once you've done this, you would um, push your code to GitHub every day after you've built something. Um, I also want to emphasize that the goal of this is not to um, push you to just watch the videos and you know, like go to the course, right? When you are sharing your progress, it can be just like the first part of the project or the second part, whatever it is. But what's it, like the, the goal is for you to try something by yourself, right, and not nearly watching the videos or copy pasting the code because that way you're not going to um to improve or you're not going to understand javascript um aside that aside the building part we are also looking to encourage participants by um reposting the um, um, what you share so aside the creations you can merely also tweet or share on LinkedIn, Instagram, wherever you're learning. So it can be that for the first day, you were not able to complete the project for the first day, but you learned something, right? So you can share that with these hashtags, hashtag women who code, days of code, WestBossJS30, and then we are going to repost across um, the various social media platforms. Um, finally, we are also going to shout out um, participants on a weekly basis. So we are going to be monitoring um, participants that are very consistent. So every at the end of every week, we'll gather all these participants and shout you out on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, Facebook, and all the other social media platforms. Uh, so I was rushing to because I wanted to, to stay within the time. So that's it for um, my presentation. At this point, if there are any questions, I'll stop sharing my screen and then pick, take the questions from the chat. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, I see a number of questions come through. So we have um, Claudia. Claudia, you're asking, um, we do task on JavaScript 30. Yes, Claudia. So the plan is to follow the JavaScript 30 course um, for 30 days. Um, West has 30 different projects on there. So as much as possible, we'd encourage you to build it by yourself, but if not, and you come across like any difficulties, you can watch his um, his tutorial on that project and then align your code accordingly. And if you face any issues, please feel free to also share in the um, the Women Who Code Frontend Slack, um, Days of Code 2024, and myself or other volunteers would um, help you. Um, will there be a peer support if you cannot overcome a problem? Yes, Nerima, there will be, apart from, as I mentioned, watching the tutorial, you can post your questions or difficulties in the Days of Code Challenge, um, and we would, we would help you address that. Thank you, Rui. Um, Alejandra, can I use Visual Code instead of, yes, definitely, I, you can use Visual Studio Code. I only um mention code pen for like especially the beginners that um i i wouldn't want setting up your project to be a blocker to not being able to go through the the um 
the days of code challenge. That's why I mentioned code pen. They already have um, um, a setup that you can quickly start building from. Um, can you review the channel we should join on Slack? Yes, Nicole, so please join Days of Code 2024. I hope I got it right. Yes, that's about it. Um, I think we have a minute to go, but if there's... Yes, so um, I mentioned... Um, um, Chitsanzo, I hope I got your name right. So you're asking if it's okay to commit to 30 days, but don't do all 30 projects while coding all 30 days. Yes, it's totally fine. What, um, what the goal is to learn, right? It's not really about um, trying to achieve all um, 30 days. If you can do 20 days and still get like um, an understanding of one or two JavaScript concepts, vanilla JavaScript concept, that's totally like worth it, right? And as I mentioned initially, we have three SKUs. So if you don't have all the time to go through 30 days, you can do 10 days and you can do 20 days as well. Um, yes. Um, can you please repeat the course you mentioned? Yes, yeah, so it's that um, javascript30.com. Stephanie just shared it. Um, thank you, Stephanie. Um, where do we get the challenges every day? Yes, yeah, so Sonia, please sign up for the JavaScript 30 course. All these, all these instructions will still uh, will be published in the the Days of Code Challenge 2024 channel right after here. So if you missed anything, you can refer in that channel. Where do we indicate the stream we wish to follow? So Alicia, it's not, um, we are not um, doing, um, we are not going strictly by the course, right? But the goal is, the goal is if you decide to pick the 30th project for your day one, that's perfectly fine. The goal is pick whatever is very easy for you to do and wh whichever one you think um, you would learn from. Right, some of the projects there you may have already tried it before. Some of the projects you, you may have already like built before. So just pick what you feel most comfortable building. Where will I get the link? Um, yes, so uh, Stephanie shared the link to the JavaScript thirty course, so um, you can see it in the chat. But as I said, everything that I've said here will still be repeated um, within the um slack channel we get feedback on our project in slack yes um if you build something and you want like you want us to review it you want someone to review for you can just share your your github um um report the link to it and then you'd get and just ask for a reviewer in the channel and i'm very sure that someone will be um, open to reviewing your code for you so lorena is asking the idea is only using vanilla JS, right? Or can I start with very basic React? You can you can build with whatever framework that you want to build, but um, as I mentioned um, very early in my presentation, the 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 idea is for most of us we've rushed into the frameworks without like fully understanding the JavaScript language and how it works. So the idea is to do sort of a reset, right? And go deep into JavaScript and try and understand some of the things that you may have, you know, like um, you may have just brushed to join like within your bootcamp or learning by yourself and all that. So yes, the idea for this 30 days of JavaScript is to go hard on vanilla JavaScript. Yeah. Yes, so thank you every one and please um keep an eye on the days of code challenge 2024 channel on the um no please there's no there's no fee that the course is free um it's free of charge yeah so thanks everyone and and see you thanks Rui. <laughs> and see you in in the channel all right bye